Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at relationship verbs or verbs we use to talk about relationships. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at relationship verbs or relationship phrasal verbs because all of these verbs at the end of the day are phrasal verbs and we use them to talk about relationships, friendships, relationships, amorous relationships, uh, non-amorous relationships. We can use these verbs to talk about that when two people or three people have a relationship of some kind, okay? Now, the first word we're going to look at is this one here, or the first verb, or the first phrasal verb, is break up or split up. Break up or split up. Now, we get the idea, obviously, that when you break up with someone, you separate. You separate. You break up or you split up. The relationship breaks. Now, as I said before, it can be a relationship between two people, a couple, or it could even be a relationship between a band, a music band, for example. A music band could break up. We could say that the Beatles broke up back in the 1960s or 70s or whenever they broke up. Or, as the example says here, Pete is sad because he has just broken up with Sally. His relationship with Sally has ended, okay? It has broken up, or they have split up. We can use both verbs uh, more or less interchangeably there. Break up or split up. Now, the next one is to fall out, to fall out. Let's have a look at the example to get the meaning of this particular verb. So, I used to be friends with John, but we fell out over politics. So if you fall out with someone, it means that you're no longer friends with them. You fall out, okay? You fall out with them. So in this particular case here with John, we used to be friends, John and I used to be friends, but we fell out over politics, meaning that we argued about politics, and therefore, as a result of that argument, we're no longer friends. We're no longer friends. So I used to be friends with John, but we fell out over politics. You can fall out over politics, you can fall out over other things that you disagree on, but it just means that the relationship, the friendship that you had with that person is no longer, okay? You have a falling out or you fall out with someone. You can use both of those things as well. A lot of the times we can use these in a noun sense as well, a break up, a split up, a falling out, okay? Or the verb to fall out, break up, split up, etc. Now the next one is get along or get on. Now we normally use this with another preposition, which is with, okay? So Sam would prefer not to see Lisa. They don't get on, okay? They don't get on anymore, or they don't get on with each other, we could say. So get along or get on. Sam would prefer not to see Lisa. They don't get along. Get along or get on. We can use both. Get along or get on. Both are perfectly fine. There's no difference between the two. Maybe one is used more in the USA. Maybe one is used more in England. I don't know. But get along and get on, more or less interchangeable there, okay? So we don't get on. We don't get along, okay? When you don't get along with someone, it means that you don't have a good relationship. You fight or you don't agree with each other, okay? Now the next one is to go out, to go out. If you go out with someone, it means that you are in a relationship with them, okay? You can go out with your friends on the weekend, okay? That just means to go out to a nightclub or to a disco or to a bar or to a restaurant. 
but in this sense it means that you're in a relationship with someone, okay? You are going out with them or you go out with someone, okay? Max and Sue have been going out for ages, okay? They've been in a relationship. They've been going out. They go out together, okay? They go out. So Max and Sue go out, okay? They've been going out for ages, a long time, for ages, since the 80s, I think, okay? Because the next one is hook up, to hook up. And we'll put it into the context with Max and Sue. So Max and Sue, they, they hooked up while working in London in the 1990s. So they've been going out for a long time, okay? They hooked up, they first got together, they first got together, they hooked up, this one here, in the 1990s because they were both in London at the same time. That's where they met. They met in London, okay? They hooked up, they met. They fell in love. They got together, we could also say, okay? So they hooked up, they got together, they fell in love in London in the 1990s and therefore they go out together, okay? They go out with each other. All right, they go out with each other, they go out together. They're in a relationship, let's say, all right? Now the last one is to team up. Now you might know this one, you might not know this one, I don't know. But to team up is where you join together with someone to do something together, let's say, okay? And the example we can see here, how we can use team up. So Clooney, George Clooney, and Pitt, Brad Pitt, have teamed up on various films. They've teamed up, they've worked together, they've had that working relationship, okay? They've teamed up on various films. I think Ocean's Eleven, the series, I think there were three or four, maybe even more Ocean's Eleven films. I don't know how many there were, but Clooney and Pitt teamed up on those particular films. And maybe some other ones, I don't know, I'm not an expert on films but I know that they teamed up on various films, particularly the Ocean's Eleven series, okay? So if you've seen the movie Ocean's Eleven, you would know that Cl George Clooney and Brit Brad Pitt, I'll say it again, George Clooney and Brad Pitt teamed up to work on that film. They came together to work together, so they had a relationship for that film. So as I said before, these verbs, sometimes it can be an amorous relationship, sometimes it doesn't have to be an amorous relationship. For example, to team up doesn't necessarily give you the idea that they are in a, 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 an amorous relationship, let's say, okay? So break up or split up, where you separate. To fall out, meaning that you're no longer friends with someone. You get along with or you get on with someone, meaning that you have a good relationship with them, okay? You get along with your brother-in-law. To go out with someone, meaning that you have a relationship with them. I've been going out with my girlfriend for 10 years, for example. To hook up, when you get together in the relationship, okay, with your partner, the, the, the love relationship. And the last one here, team up. When you talk about collaborating together or working together on a project or something along those lines, and in the sense we have here in a film with George Clooney and Brad Pitt. So all of these verbs here, the relationship verbs, as I said, to talk about relationships. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. Questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video English lesson. Share it please with your friends on YouTube, with your friends on Facebook, with your friends on any social media. Share the lesson, have a good day.